What's up guys, Zigrix here. Back for another video. Uh, today we are near, I'm pretty sure it's called Graysville, Graysville, Ohio. See another abandoned place. We'll be looking at a house this time that has stuff in it. This is what people call a time capsule, again. Uh, I'm already at the place, at the site. It's really hot outside, it's like 80 degrees. I'm sweating. The house is right there. And this is the old driveway that led straight through it. With the uh, original bridge, which is currently out. So that's just a little bit of proof that this place has been abandoned for a while. But without any further ado, let's get started with the video. Uh, I haven't been out to this area in a while. This place is... Probably uh, 20 miles away from me, uh, my old abandoned school video that I said it was called uh, Abandoned Lawrence School in Dart, Ohio. This is somewhat relatively close near it. I found this house off of Google Maps, of course. Had it saved for a while and I decided to check it out today. Make a video for it. I don't know if I can make a good thumbnail for this place because of the vegetation that's in the way. But I'll find something, to, I'll find a way to uh, get a good thumbnail. There is a couple things for this house. The typical farm package, farmhouse package. You got the house right there, some a shed, and a garage. I don't know what goes up the hill. I haven't even bothered, but let's take a look inside this place. I've already done some stepping inside. It's pretty safe-ish, as of what I could say, in my idea. Um, there's these old things right here. Holds up the house. Can't really see much of the house, unfortunately. Maybe you can see it from the back or the front, but let's walk around here. Pretty sure you guys can see a little bit of the house. It's a two two store house, two floor house, two story house with uh, some nice architecture to it, which kind of looks cool. I'd say that this house was made out of wood, but who knows? Seems like it has received power at one time, but uh, not anymore. I'm guessing the owner had to move out, but the owner still comes back here every once in a while. You see there is the breaking box or whatever it's called right there. It's also a little bit dark in here, so. There's a lot of old uh, furniture, which is kind of surprises me because I don't get to see a lot of old furniture like this. Or a uh, perfectly still room. Found some cool stuff in here. Pretty cool stuff, which I would like to show. But this is what I found so far. Fortunately, the second floor right here is gone for that room, so I can't go in there. There's the old, uh, Fireplace right here goes all the way up. I wonder how expensive this house was back when it was too uh, lively. It's 
probably worth a lot of money. Because I've been through so many houses and this one looks a bit more bigger and more stylish. Alright, let's uh, check out the next room. This room uh, a little bit is a little bit cool, but it's a bedroom right here. I'm guessing some kids slept here. Yeah. Some kids probably slept here a long time ago. Some really old clothing. Not, not really surprising, but... I wonder what this is. Oh, oh cool. Okay, nice. There's some old stuff in here too. Wonder what this was in here. It says the the whiz the whiz oh one thousand watts the whiz. So this was a I think this was a blow dryer, old fashioned blow dryer. Uh, looks like it. Looks like it will pile right on if you plug it in. a lot of old clothing. I don't want to be rummaging through this stuff because it looks kind of wasted. But this is pretty cool to see. There's some old books over there. Those look like those were from the early 2000s. Yep. If you can't see it from here, it says April 2008 on that, on that little magazine book. So I'm guessing this was the last time this house was abandoned. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of old clothes. There's also something on the floor too. What is this? This is called... Oh. Ther therapy? Oh, this is just moisturizer. The therapy moisturizing shampoo. Nothing special. All right. Let's see what we can find. I want to go to that room next over here. This room. I'm not sure. Yeah, I better just keep the light on for you guys. I know someone can see this so. It was a loud bug. So my thoughts and guess is this was the kitchen. Kind of makes it obvious, but still. As you can see, there's been some people here. Probably the owner. It's been uh, doing some work. Either taking stuff out and selling it or just trying to fix a house, but it's been here for a long time. There is an old uh, uh, space maker. Or heck, it's called General Electric Space Maker. I never heard of it, but it looks like a microwave. Should I open it? Yep, it's a, micro it's a big microwave, but it's pretty cool to see. It says on the, it says on it, it says do not operate empty. Take that for granted, I guess. Some old silverware. Silverware and some other stuff on here. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Let's see if I can uh, look over here. Oh yeah, okay. I don't think no one to see that. That's just an old sink. This 
this is the next room right here. Um, I can't really do much stepping because I'll fall through the uh, floor. So there's a room right there and a room right here. This was a bathroom. But uh, it's really small. I don't want to be stepping in this small bathroom. It doesn't look safe to me. This uh, is the back right here. As you can see, it's been, it looks like someone has been here as proof. But I don't think they'll be here for a long time from what I've been seeing. It's just like a bunch of stuff on the table, old screws and nails on the table. And a lot of uh, tools. And paint cans. Nothing really surprising, but I guess all this was outside at one point. We'll be going outside last. There's still a lot of stuff to see here. Crunching on some glass, and this doesn't really hurt, but it's had uh, boots on. There you go. Even has a chandelier on top, which is pretty cool. Looks like everything was left exactly in place when it was last abandoned. Is our old vacuum cleaner. I don't know if this is the first vacuum cleaner uh, I've shown you guys. No, it's not. It says Kenmore. Kenmore Wide Sweep. I can't really show you, but Kenmore Wide Sweep. It's an old vacuum cleaner. A lot of stuff in here looks recent as well. Yeah, it's pretty recent. I'm not sure what that hose is for. Maybe for a vacuum cleaner. Hmm. Cool. This is, I wonder what this is, oh, a food grinder. Never seen one of these before. I guess you push this inwards and it crushes the food from here. Heavy duty food grinder from Oster. And I'm pretty sure this is a heater right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a heater. A floor heater. There's another book right here, a magazine. It says uh, 2007 on it. It's very dusty. Is this is a frisbee. Yeah, it's a frisbee. Yeah, I'm stepping on another vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I am. Oh, cool. I'm guessing it's one of those four vacuum cleaners. Uh, the smaller compatible one. I mean, the portable vacuum cleaners. This looks really old. It's the one that uh, you can use the pipe and suck up into tight spaces. Yeah, the tight space ones. I'm guessing uh, these are worth a lot of money now, but <sighs> not worth much in that condition. What is the name on this one? Elect. I mean, uh, Electrus? I can't even see the name on this. 
but I don't think I'll ever see one of these again. This is probably my first time and last time I'll ever see a small vacuum cleaner like this. Can I close it or no, I can't. That's cool. All right, let's continue on. It's pretty hot in here, so I'm getting, getting sweaty. We're gonna go up to the top floor. It did say uh, the door was closed, but I opened it. It said when you leave, when you leave, please prop this door only part way open. So I did exactly what they said, part way open. But when I officially leave this place, I'll keep it closed, just so that they can know that I, no one has been here. This the this the top floor. This one surprised me the most because there is a uh, old fashioned organ in the corner, and everything is just like left in place. There's a little bit of something cool up here as well. It says there is a old calendar from the sixties. In January nineteen sixty seven. This has been here for a long time. Might have shows how old this house is. It's also old trophies as well. If you can't see it, it says commercial, commercial print craft, 59 champ 60 A Wilson. It's a lot of uh, stuff on the floor too. I don't want to be touching, but I'll touch some of the stuff. So you don't know if there's mold. I don't want to get mold on my hands. I will show you guys the, uh, the organ or, yeah, organ. So I don't know what kind of organ this is, but it looks really old. That's all I can say. Of course, there's no power, so it won't work. It's pretty cool. There's the old pedals to it. Oops. Crushed something. Oh, well. I think I'm stepping on all these miniature Easter eggs. Yeah. Oops. My bad. I don't think it really matters. Here's some uh push this out like it's nothing when I first seen it. Here's some old newspapers again from the 60s. I don't think you guys can see it at all, but another old fashioned time capsule newspaper that's in good condition. You guys can always just pause the video and see what's going on yourself in here or zoom in because it's hard for me to zoom in with this 2000 lumen flashlight. Let me see. There, okay, there you go. There's a Sears, but it's weird how it says Sears, but Sears went out of business a long time ago. That's really cool. There's newspapers from August 31st, 1966. This has been here for a long time. I'm surprised it's still holding up. Anyways. Put that back in here like no one touched it. There's more right here, but it's just more random stuff. Old shoes and baseball talk. Oh, what is this? Oops. Looks like I got myself distracted by something. Oh, okay. 
say a dolly. A tire is only thirteen dollars. I don't believe this, but <laughs> if these tires are really that cheap, then that's some real crazy inflation that we have today. A car battery is only sixteen dollars back in the sixties, and today a car battery is like over a hundred dollars. That's crazy. It really shows how fast time goes, but let's put this back. Hopefully they don't notice that someone's been rummaging through their stuff. Perfect. Okay, let's not hold up anyone with this uh, newspaper stuff. So you got a lot of things to see here. Might have to turn up the brightness on my flashlight. There we go. It might start raining soon, so. so how, how hot it is. It's not safe to step in here, so I won't bother doing so. I'll get hurt if I stay in here. There's a... I think this is the last room, second to last room of this house. Unless there's a basement, which I haven't found a basement yet. This is the second to last room. There's a lot more stuff in here, but it's just mostly wood. Uh, wood and wood, uh, bed frames. a nice uh bed right there hmm so a lot of bed frames wonder how many beds this house has have this house has a lot of bed frames I'm guessing uh, this fan on the floor. Oh, this fan. I'm guessing this is like a, an old AC fan that goes on the window. I wonder what this old fan is right here. It looks interesting. What is this? Not sure what that is. Oh. Another thing that goes with the fan, I guess. I guess this is, and this is a deep fryer. Old fashioned deep fryer. Yeah. Cool. Old fashioned deep fryer. Yep. Dixie fryer. Hmm. I think that's all for this uh, room. I mean, there's a lot more stuff, a lot more stuff, but this is all just like furniture and frames. And I don't even know what the heck that is right there. There's one more room. If I'm right. Yeah, there's one more room, I believe. Last room is in the corner right there. I think it's empty. <clears throat> yeah, it's empty. This is like the only room that actually has my voice echoing. Let's see, this is the very least that's safe to step on.
Dude, I think that's all for this house. I can show you guys around outside if I don't get freaking pickled, prickled by these thorns. Let's head downstairs. <clears throat> See you guys in a bit. All right, we're heading outside right now to the back. No need for a flashlight now. Because we're officially outside. Here is an outside view of the house. It's pretty big, surprisingly. I don't know. I think I can do a thumbnail right here, but I gotta think about it. Seems like there's a bee's nest somewhere around this house because I hear I hear bees, but I don't see them. But oh yeah, there's a bee's nest right there. So I gotta be careful. There's probably like a lot of bees. So Okay, let's see what's ouch. Let's see what's in this freaking thing. Oh, okay. I guess nothing's in here. It just collapsed. It's too old. This is like this. It's like these are the only things that la like never last for some reason. Freaking barns. The barns and the uh, sheds they don't last long. But it's pretty cool to see this old foundation of stone. The houses always last the longest because, of course, people got to take care of their property, their houses, because they, they live there, of course. Let's see what we can do from the outside. Run through some nature. Ouch. Don't know what's up there. Let's see what's up here. I'm guessing this just keeps going up the hill. I see some tired tire marks, so that gives a good good hint. Could be a public, not public, but a little back road for ATVs, dirt bikes, and crap. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm right. Totally right about that. It just keeps going up the hill, nothing special. Let's head back down. I think the last part of this place is the this building right here. Let's see what's in there. Then I'll end the video for the, for the day. All right. I don't know what's in this thing. Is it empty? Nope. There's some stuff in here. Some old tire, old tire, and some uh, tubes of some sort. I wonder what this thing is right here. That like, well, I wonder what this is. It looks interesting. Old work desk. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's nothing really much to see in here. Looks pretty recent, I'd say. But anyways. That's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more content. I'll be possibly uploading another video this week or next week. Just depends on my work schedule. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.